I've read a few reviews about the some gigabyte motherboards, uh, mainly uh, the one that I'm using. Um, someone was saying that their the problem they had was endless reboots, and uh, I think I know what their problem was because they were doing some overclocking. Well, if you overclock your PCI Express frequency over a hundred, uh, depending on what video card you may have on the PCI Express, if it doesn't you might not like it over a hundred uh, megahertz as it says right here uh, my experience with this is I went over a hundred megahertz and you, I'd get this uh, reboot cycle that would take maybe it would do it like eight times well I don't want to show it to you right now because I don't want to get stuck in that whole mode but I'm just going to put this back to auto okay so it doesn't really need to be overclocked it's fast fast as it is already but anyways, um, if you do overclock the PCI Express frequency over 100 megahertz, um, you will get that reboot cycle, and it is very annoying. In fact, I think I bumped this up to 120 one time, and this thing took an hour to finish its reboot cycle, or an hour and a half or something. It was really bad. However, if you do get into that reboot cycle, and it just keeps doing it and doing it, And you want it to stop, but you don't know how to make it stop. Well, I'll show you how you can make it stop. What you do is turn your power supply off so that the computer has no power, it cannot reboot or anything, it cannot do that. Uh, continue rebooting. Now, what you do is you see that little battery right there. Sorry about that. That battery right there, you take that thing out. Now you may have to remove a video card like I actually had to do one time just to get that thing out. So you want to take that battery out and what that battery does is it saves all your BIOS settings to the CMOS or um, something like that. But it saves all the settings in your BIOS like uh, your your settings for overclocking, your all the PCI Express stuff, all those settings. It will erase them once you and sit, put them back to default once you remove that battery. So, if you get into that reboot cycle, endless reboot cycle, just remove that battery, put it back in, put your video card back in or whatever, whatever you had to take out to get to that battery, put it all back in there, turn your power supply back on, turn the computer on, and press delete to get into the BIOS. And then you'll have to uh, make all your settings, or make all your changes again. Like I had to, all this load line calibration and all this stuff, I had set it all back to normal like I had it before, so it would uh, the V droop crap wouldn't be uh, give me any problems. And you see, I got my RAM at 960. Runs pretty fast, and my CPU is at 2.80. I think that's the highest it goes. Let's see if we can get it to go any higher. Let's do four. What is 415? That's 2.80. It does not like that. 4, 10, 2.87, let's try that, oh wait, wait, here's one, uh, yeah, I want to run it at 700 megahertz, or 200, hey, I'm curious, how does it run at 1.40 gigahertz, I don't know, so this is the, uh, Intel Core 2 Quad at, uh, 2.33 gigahertz. That's the stock speed, but I've got it bumped up to 2. Point, or I normally run at 2.80, but we'll see how it handles 2.87. Actually, if I can get it, uh... oh shit, 409. That's what I meant. Put it at 409. No, 408. Yeah, let's try that. 2.85. See how much better I can get. So I'll do uh, F10. Let's see if we get an endless reboot cycle. I don't think we will, but... Normally a successful overclock is it immediately turns on it and your monitor comes up. So like that. See, it says 2.85. That's a successful overclock. If you mess with the PCI Express, 
and it doesn't like it, it will just go into the endless reboot cycle, and it is so annoying, and you just want to fucking kill yourself. So I don't mess with the PCI Express. That, that's the only thing that I know of that causes that problem. I've tried all kinds of other stuff. It did not give me that crap. It was just the, just the PCI Express was uh, not liking what I was putting it at. Now, if you have your CPU clocked to a setting that it can't handle, you'll get, um, when it boots up, I've had it where it, it, it did like a quick blue screen. It was like kind of blurred and then it went away. It didn't like that. So I guess it likes, doesn't mind 2.85. Got it on the stock cooler. <laughs> wow, that booted everything really fast. That's a lot faster. I don't want I don't want computer. Go away. Control panel. Ah, that seems so much faster. Oh, it's just is at 2.86. Huh, nothing wrong with that. 5.9, 5 5.9, 5.0, 5 5.3, 5.9. Let's do a benchmark test. I think my video driver just locked up. It's been doing that lately. Yeah, it's just a little bit better than before. It's kind of, kind of stuttery. I don't like that. It's like bottlenecking or something. What did it lock up again? Oh. It's weird now, it's all acting all goofy now. <sighs> so, I had to update Norton and it because it said it wasn't protected, and I updated it and everything, and it, it's working now. And then I had to reset the computer again because uh, it said super fetch wasn't working and I was like, oh great, what else could be going wrong? And then, so now I'm restarting again. Hey, what do you know? I don't think the CPU is like in 2.86 and we're bringing it back down to 2.80. You know what's weird is the other day I was actually watching a video on YouTube and I just got this and it, it wouldn't stop. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I just, I don't know what the hell happened. It, I thought it was going to go into blue screen, but it didn't.